In this video, we're going to be bleeding out all the brakes on this STI, front and rears. So these are the tools and equipment that's going to be required for this brake bleeding job. You'll need 11mm. I like to use a 7 16th, a large ratchet, short extension, screwdriver to open up the rubber caps on the bleed nipples, safety glasses, it's a must when we're working with brake fluid, new brake fluid that's compatible with your particular vehicle and your setup. Normally it's a dot four or a dot five, but again check with the owner's manual on that and the bottle because we're going to be manually bleeding it using the two-man system. And finally you'll need a bit of clear hose, vacuum hose, and you this is optional. This just fits on the top, or you can just use this part. I'll just be using this part on top of the bleed nipple. You'll see that in the video. So that's basically all the tools you need. You can use a vacuum bleeder if you've got one of these or something similar. But for this demonstration purpose, we'll be using the two-man method in that you'll need a helper to press the brake pedal while the other person opens it up and bleeds it into a bottle. To get a rag, this is quite important. You might need this around the master cylinder or around your paintwork. Just keep something handy because if you do drop brake fluid, you want to clean it off immediately. So we want to start off by checking the brake fluid level. Notice how it's below the max line. Top it up to the max line and then you can go ahead and close this back in. So this STI from factory are fitted with Brembo brakes, four pots on the front. And if we come to the rear, they've got two pot rear brakes. Watch my other videos if you need to see how to change the pads or something similar. We want to start with the caliper that's furthest away from the master cylinder, which in this right hand drive car, it's the left rear. So we want to start this side. Make sure you watch this video and follow it closely because these calipers have two bleed nipples, one here and one this side over here. So over there, they're tightened down to 20 Newton meters. So we want to start with the inner always on all the calipers and then come to the outer. So we're going to start the procedure now with this caliper that's furthest away from the master cylinder. So get the appropriate brake fluid for your particular vehicle. Make sure it's compatible. Make sure it's a new container as well. And now we'll just go ahead and top it up. The reason why you need a new container is brake fluid absorbs moisture. So preferably always use a new container. We'll go ahead and lightly close that. Keep this to one side and go ahead to the rear. So this is also a good procedure when you want to change all your brake fluid as part of your routine service. So just keep that in mind. This is also a good video for that. So what I like to do is start with the 7 16th socket and just crack these open first because they can be tight over time. You just tighten them up. Just makes life a little bit easier. Also these bleed caps over here, I like to open them first. Go all around, open them up and then continue the bleeding procedure. So remember, we're starting with the inner first. Get your 11mm or if you have a 716 spanner, go ahead and slot that in there. Put your bleeder here. You'll see it a bit clearer when it's on this side and when we go to the front. In your bleed bottle or something similar. And get your assistant to pump the brakes. Yep, go ahead and pump the brakes. Remember, you'll also have to keep an eye on the master cylinder, so just don't run that dry. That's very important. Watch the clear line when we press it down. Hold. When I tell him to hold, I open it here. And you can see all the brake fluid coming up. Yep, pump. You just want to do this procedure until you see new fluid or until you see all the air come out, whichever procedure you're running. Because if you change your master cylinder, then you want to do this procedure. It's very important. Go ahead and pump. Yeah, hold. We'll go around afterwards and talk them all down to 20 Nm. Now I'll move, so we'll move to the outer circuit now. Pop your spanner there. Pop that in there so like so and tell you how to do it. Pump. So this is the two-man way of doing it. You can also do it with the vacuum bleeder, but I do prefer the old traditional method. Hold. Pump. 
So now we're on the driver's rear. I've already loosened it, like I showed you previously. Pump. Hold. Pump. When you see air like this, it's, kind of, it's normal because there's air in the line. Because it's an empty vacuum hose. Once it fills up, you shouldn't see any air. Hold. And as you can see, it's clear, clean fluid again. This is already done. I'm just doing it just for the video again. Tighten that by hand and we'll talk it down later. Come to the outer circuit here. Okay, pump now. Pump. When he tells me to pump, I'll start pumping. Yep. And when he tells me to hold, I'll hold it. Hold it. And as he opens the bolt, you'll see the pedal go down. The bleed valve. And then when he tells me to pump, I'll start pumping. Hold. Told me to hold. And he opened the bleed valve. And I'm holding till he tells me to pump again. To make sure he's closed off the bleed valve. Now he told me to leave. And now he's told me to pump. And this process is repeated for each of the bleed valves. Hold. As you can see, no air, clean fluid. Now we'll move to the left passenger side. If you're on the US, you'll move to the right front. But if it's a right hand vehicle, move to the left passenger side. Keep track on your fluid, make sure you top it up as you go. You do not want this running dry. This time I'll bring you close to the action. Okay, pump. Hold. I lock the bleeder in and now I tell him to pump again. Pump. Hold. No air, clean fluid, so we'll go ahead and lock this one in. Okay, pump. Hold. Pump again. Hold. Now we'll move to the final, the driver's side, which is closest to the master cylinder on a right-hand drive vehicle. So I won't bore you with the driver's side as well. Um, that's the same procedure as the other side. Like I said, make sure you keep an eye on the fluid. And this is also a good time. If you're changing out your fluid, just suck it out and fill it up a new fluid and follow the procedure as I showed you in this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Stay tuned for more videos and more interesting content. See ya. So with your torque wrench, as I mentioned earlier, go ahead and torque all your Leave nipples down to only 20 millimeters and keep all this good clean and then you can pop this back on. Put it in there in your inner. 20. 20. So you get the idea, go ahead all around the vehicle and torque down all the bolts to 20 newtonmeters. Never ever exceed the torque on these bleeding nipples. They don't need to be over tightened. So this might be an issue that you might encounter with your four pot Brembo's. Someone has worked on this previously and they've over tightened it. And as a result, when we went to open it now, it's basically snapped off here. This is why you always have to torque these down and never over tighten them. There's absolutely no need to over tighten them. So now this caliper has to come off and we're going to have to tap this whole thing out. This bleed, and, this bleed nipple and put, install a new one. So if we get time, we'll record it and show you. And that might come in the another video so stay tuned for that